Hello, welcome. Today we are going to tie a green popper slash slider. Let me get started. Please watch the orange popper slash slider video to um, see how I arrange my uh, feathers. I just have four green and four white feathers here. I'm just going to tie in. I just tie those in at the barb up to the point of the hook. Okay, then I'm just going to grab a green and a white feather. And this is going to make a skirt. This flies exactly like my uh, orange one, except it's just tied in a green color. So this ties in by the tip. Just a white and a green that have the same barb length. Um, of course. I'm just going to do half hitch or wet finish. It doesn't matter. I'll just stroke the fibers back. I'm just going to palmer it forward. I'm going to palmer it from the barb of the hook to the point of the hook. And that will give the popper plenty of room. Um, body plenty of room to clear the point of the hook. So when the fish hits it, you can get him on the hook. Tie those off. You're going to stop palmering the skirt um, roughly where the point of the hook is. I went a little past that, but that's okay. So I'm just taking my green 3 out thread. Just Sorry, it's really wiggling. Try to control that. I'm just going to wrap it all the way up, leaving a foundation for my popper body. I want to stop one eye length away from the eye of the hook. This is just a size 2 salt water hook. A little smaller than the one we were using before. Because my oranges are usually my biggest and the green are just a little smaller. So I'll just throw a whip finish in there. Grab your green ear plug. This is a very dark green. Just going to measure it. And then just measure it and cut it just like before with your orange earplug. Please go back and uh, watch that video to get complete instruction. So cut down the middle. I'm just going to make sure it fits now. That looks good and I'm going to super glue next. Uh, my wet finish came undone. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. So I'm going to grab a uh, Zappa Gap super glue. I have one with the brush on applicator and you're just gonna cover the thread don't cover the bare shank just cover all the thread you don't want to cover the bare shank that's gonna be a little room for it to expand and contrast because the popper you know it's smush or this earplug is smushy so you're just gonna pull apart like that to get it on the shank of the hook that looks good just gonna make sure it's even <clears throat> okay please watch part two of the green slash popper video um, part two we're gonna apply eyes we're gonna mark it up with the sharpie marker and we're gonna epoxy it thanks for joining me um, 
Tech Line Stall.